Tanse, it's Michaela here from Delta Beadworks. Welcome to my beading space. So my cousin asked me to make a video on how to make fur pom-poms. So this is pom-poms for your hat using real fur. And I have two methods that I want to show you today. So the first method is with the body of the fur right here. And it looks something like this. And there's another method where you're using the tail of the animal and that looks something like this. Supplies that you're going to need for this pom-pom is of course uh, a pelt of fur. Right here I have some rabbit. You're going to need some really strong thread. Um, your thimble, very important. Um, you're going to need a square needle or a glover's needle is what it's called. You're going to need some like some cotton to fill the inside of your pom-pom. Scissors, some pliers. I like to use pliers if I'm having trouble pulling a needle through. A comb for brushing the hair. And you need a measuring device and an exacto knife. So this is very important. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to actually brush your hair. So you really want to pay attention to the the direction of the hair. So this is actually the top of the animal and you'll notice that the hair is flowing down its back like this. So I'm just going to brush this out just to get a really good sense of how the hair is, uh, is flowing. So if you brush it the wrong way you're going to notice that it's really hard to brush and it's not going to lay flat. So you want your hair to lay nice and flat. And then I'm going to choose the area that I think is best for my fur pom-pom. So I really like this area kind of in the center here. It's quite um, kind of thick and fluffy and the, the fur color is uniform. And I'm going to flip it over and kind of remember this is the area that I want to make my fur pom-pom with. So to make a pom-pom uh, this size, which is kind of fits in the palm of my hand, I'm going to trace out a square that's two inches by two inches. So now we have our square here and we're going to cut this out using our X-Acto knife. We're going to have the fur side down. Make sure you have something underneath that you don't mind cutting. I have this cutting board here and you're going to very carefully cut along the line that you have. So cutting from the back helps prevent you from cutting the hair. So now we have a square of fabric here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the fur side together. Pay careful attention to the direction of the fur. The first side we're going to sew is this top half here where the fur is laying flat. So we want to fold those halves together, match them, and sew along this seam. So I'm going to start from the edge and work my way to the folded center. So I'm just going to make an overhanded stitch like this. Make sure to keep the right tension. I make it once and twice in the same spot. And that is going to make it nice and tight. Once, twice. Tie a knot on the back of your string. Again, being aware of the string, keep it away from the hair. So now you have your first half of the pom-pom sewed. So now we're going to move on to the second part. Choose the side that's right next to the stitch that you made and you're going to make your second seam and it's going to look like this. And now you're going to make your third stitch, which is going to be on the opposite side. <laughs> so now we have two stitches here. Now we're going to move on to the opposite side 
of your first stitch and we're going to do the same thing again. Fold it and make our final stitch here. We have one side that's open so we're going to turn it inside out now. And to finalize the pom-pom, you're going to take some of your cotton batten that you've uh, prepared and you're going to stuff it in the center just to keep the shape of the pom-pom. And just work slowly because you want the hair to stay on the outside. And to close this hole, you're probably only going to need one stitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my needle into the leather side and out of the fur side and then back into the leather side always going the direction from inside to outside So now I'm going to be very careful, I'm going to make lay the fur flat as I can and make a knot to close this hole. For this pom-pom, because the fur is so thick, I didn't need to close this hole, it just closed itself. So here we go, we have it there. But once you fluff it up, it's fine. This one's a bit more obvious, so I'm going to close it shut. I got the knot close as possible to the fur without getting the fur caught in. And now we have a perfect fur pom-pom. Okay, next we are going to make a pom-pom using the tail. Um, so because tails are very irregular, you're going to have to do some brushing and you're going to have to choose kind of the best area of the tail that you think will make a pom-pom. So I've decided this area is going to be our pom-pom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the hair as much as I can like this and that's where I'm going to make my first cut and this time I'm just using my scissors. So now we've got a section of a tail here that we can use for a pom-pom and it's already kind of in a pom-pom shape but I always find that it's never quite perfect. So what I like to do is give it a haircut to make it look nice and round the way that I want it to look. And depending on the tail that you've gotten, um, it's going to have a split on the inside of the tail, so you're going to have to rummage around and look for that. And sometimes you may need to sew up. As you look inside of here, this has been split down the middle. So you may need to do, depending on how wide it is, you may need to do a stitch to close it up. But I find that this is just naturally staying closed for me, so this is fine. So you will decide what is the best pom-pom design for you depending on your materials and what you have. So there you have it. That's how to make real fur pom-poms 
using either the body of the pelt or the tail of the pelt. So thank you for watching my tutorial video, my first ever beadwork tutorial video. Kananis Gamotin, thank you for watching.